All right, guys, got the card all cleaned out. Back into the uh, camera here, so we can start all over. Um, while I was waiting to uh, upload all the video to the um, computer, I took the time and I just tapped all these holes out. Okay, uh, these were 1024 tapped, um, 440 tap, and these are 832 tap for these two. This here is for the spacer that I want to uh, put between this and the machine. I haven't decided what I'm going to do that um, after it's up on the, uh, the machine. We'll figure that out, whether I'm going to draw it a little bit bigger. Um, it may not even need it, uh, but we'll see. So, those are taps. These are your um, 10 24th screws, 440 screws, 832nd screws. You need four of these, two, and two. Um, and then for the screws that will go in here to screw to the machine, I had them kicking around. Um, had to go, get a die. It's six millimeter by one. Focus. Is the thread size that's existing on the machine? Um, unfortunately, I only have three of these right now. I'll have to run out and get another one, but for now, I'll be fine. So let's get the plate just mounted, dry fit, make sure it, uh, everything bolts up properly, and then what I like to do is start assembling the whole thing here. Uh, run the fuel line, uh, air lines. You know, to each part, get all the fittings in. So this way when we take it apart and we put it on the machine, we're not finagling next to the belt and all that other stuff. So Let's get this hooked up to the machine, see what's up. Uh, stronger than I thought it would be. But everything lines up very well there. Air cylinder will go there. So, let's take this back off. We'll get it assembled on a bench. And uh, then we'll assemble it. Okay. <clears throat> so here's the air cylinder. You have an inlet and outlet. Air gets pushed in here, slide cylinder out, air released out here. So I don't want to assemble it this side because the belt is very close. So we're going to set it up in that position there with a set of. These 90 fittings. So, we got one there, one there. So, we need two of those for that. One, two. Um, let's see. The inlet here, outlet that will mount right there. We have our solenoid. So, P is our supply, it's going to go from the outlet on the regulator to P, and then A to the bottom, and B to the top mounted here so so we got here these two here put an angle and down
So we can do a straight shot there. Uh, what do we got? Got one left. Right, I guess we'll do a straight out of here, which should clear the wire, which will run straight down through here, through the bottom of the machine. So two there. And I guess we'll stick this one here on the inlet, which will come straight down, clear all the belts and everything else. So. Okay. So these fittings are pre Teflon. So you can just thread them in. And it's uh, 11 millimeters. Okay, so all the fittings together. So that's it fully assembled as far as locations. Now, just gotta start cutting some of the uh, airline. And if you make any mistakes, too short, you wanna recut it, it just locks in and you just push down on these here and it'll pop out. So if we screw up, Location of holes A and B, no big deal. Just pull them out, relocate them. Always cut a little extra. I always cut it a second time. It's actually a pretty tough uh, hose. That looks clean. Just want to try to keep it tight to here because the belt runs approximately yeah, maybe an inch away so that's why no vibrations or nothing but it's nice and clean and if you make a mistake just push in it just pops out Okay, get the wire all spliced up. Inside here, just got a nut. Take off, inside is a little washer and an O-ring, more or less.
So as this compresses down, it pushes and squeezes the rubber O-ring onto the wire so it can't pull out. So let's get these two on. Let's see what we got here. We have We we'll have to take this off. Grounding screw is facing. To, whoops, sorry. <clears throat> if we're gonna have to pull the uh, solenoid off, the uh, grounding screw is towards the back, so you gotta get a screwdriver this way. So we'll pull this off. We'll get it wired, and um, actually we can leave it off and start disassembling this and get the bracket mounted, and then reassemble everything. Our bottoms are ground. Give much room to play with. So now that we got that all wired, we got all the lines cut and everything fits up. Let's get the plate assembled on the machine and uh, we'll start reassembling everything for a permanent fit. And normally I would lock tight these just for good measures. Um, I'm not doing it right now because I still have to get a screw for the back plate. So I will be pulling this off um, you know, as soon as I get one. So right now we're just going to snug it up nice and tight. Airlines. <clears throat> Good clearance there. And uh, this will come straight down here. I may zip tie it just to the bottom of the uh, regulator. Just keep it nice and tight and then I'll swing it underneath and then zip tie it across here. So there's no chance I'll ever interfere with the belts. Okay, we're back. I had to go searching for a, uh, a fitting. Like an idiot, I forgot to order one. So I kind of had the makeshift the fitting. So this will work for today. When I get the screw for that, I'll pick up uh, a reducer for this to fit in here. So, so let's uh, get this plugged into the regulator. We'll plug it into the back of the unit where it says collar closer. Just 
gonna tie in right there. Okay. Let's turn the machine on. Right there it says collar closer and open. Shoot here, click. Oh, reset. How about if I turn it on? Okay. A little red LED. Okay, let's give it some air. Make sure we get all these lines hooked up correctly. Let's see what we got there. Uh, closed. Open. Alright, we're good. Close collet. We're just going to push this back. Open. It's going to pull this in. Beautiful.